I don't know if you guys can see this map very well. But this is an airplane. And this is where all the government buildings are. I am right here one in one of the wings. And all of the monuments, all the all of the buildings and uh, museums are along this the body of the of the airplane. As you guys can see there's a huge park over here. I might go to that too. And there's another park over here. This is really big. I don't know if you guys can picture it. So maybe they rent some bikes here. Somewhere around here they rent some bikes. So I'm gonna try and get one. And then you just do the whole thing on a bike. I don't know. I have no idea where I am. The bus dropped me off like not where I wanted to go, but that's okay. It's very easy to find my way back. Of course everyone knows that the most popular sport here in Brazil is soccer, but the second one is volleyball. As you guys can see from all these people just watching it in the middle of a bus station. So I was finally able to get out of a bus station. It took me a while, I couldn't find the exit. But this right here, I think this is the, the main mall here. So yes, I was right, this is the mall. I do have to say, uh, the bus station was a little shady. It wasn't as I expected it to be. There was a lot of uh, poor people and I don't know how to politically say it. But you know, you just know that you just gotta be careful in those places in case you can, in case they pickpocket over there. I'm not sure if they do, but it was just a lot of uh, hobos. I personally don't like to come to uh, malls because they are very, uh, I don't know, very Americanized. You see the same brands in every single mall, in every single country. Uh, this one is just like the one in Cuiaba. Uh, the only difference here in Brazil is that they have brands that are usually Brazilian. There is the international brands, but there is a lot more of Brazilian brands. Because as I was saying before, there is a high import tax. So guys, we are now approaching one of the main landmarks here, which is the radio antenna. But let me tell you guys, uh, I thought this was gonna be a better city for pedestrians. It's okay, because there is like a lot of places where they don't have uh, crosswalks. You know, it's supposed to be like one of the best designed cities. Uh, it, it's alright, it's alright. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty good, but... You know, there's a lot of places that you're like, what, what happened here? I see a, lo a little bit of construction and I wonder if it's still for the World Cup. They haven't finished. But so far from what I've seen, this is the most... The city that is like the most prepared for the World Cup because transportation here is very good and like it's made for tourism because you know this is the capital so anytime there's conventions or anything people come here so it's pretty good pretty good setup okay yeah, this is a tv uh tv uh, antenna i hope we can go up there without charge this sucks you guys uh, a lot of the things here are still under construction for the world cup so i can't go in so let's see if I can get at least close to the stadium. You, you can see a stadium from here. It's not a nice shot of it, but that's the stadium and that's the convention center. And here we have the antenna. But we can get a nice, nice shot of this, this right here. This is the center. We are on the fuselage of the airplane right now. If you go all the way straight, you hit the lake or yeah, the river or lake, I don't know. And that's where the president palace is and everything. We'll see that tomorrow or, or Sunday. As so always, you have your shops where they sell. Well, Brazil is different, but usually they sell a bunch of Chinese stuff. But here's probably all Brazilian made. And I bet this is gonna be all open and busting with people during the World Cup. Because right now it's very empty. <laughs> Everything's closed. But look at the streets, they're still closed. Some of them are just finished. And I bet I can't go inside the stadium, so this is probably the best shot I'm gonna get of the stadium. So there it is, guys. National Stadium. This one was, this is not a new stadium, this was rebuilt for the World Cup. This is a very uh, good setup because this is a convention center where you pick up your tickets for the FIFA World Cup. 
and the stadium is right next to it. So this is very close to each other. Guys, this right here is the convention center. So yeah. apparently you can't take video inside. I was told twice. I was told twice by the security guy. He almost kicked me out the second time. But yeah, that's where you pick up the tickets at the convention center. Oh yes, I found them, the bikes. I've been walking for a long time. Could have used a bike a little bit ago. Let's see how much they are. But more importantly, let's see where I can drop it off. So I do not want to take this and then have to bring it back here. Five reals an hour. Uh, so I'm gonna start by scanning the QR code. Let's check it out. That's gonna take me to a website where I should be able to download the app. So guys, yeah, it's taking a little bit because I gotta register. Uh, this is 10 reales to register, plus five per hour, which will be 15, which is $7.50. I will go for it because... Oh, well, that, that sucks. <laughs> right off the bat, I can't use it because they don't accept uh, American Express. Oh, what a waste of my time. So here, you guys, we have another famous building. I don't know what it is. I might go across the street and check it out. Now, in case you guys haven't noticed, well, I haven't told you guys, but I'm walking in, in between these two main streets here. And there's this just huge uh, green space in between. It's very nice. But there's not that many people walking around here. Reason being is that it's some really long distances. So people just take the bus. But since I'm going to one place, one place, I can't be getting on the bus, getting off the bus, getting on the bus. That will be very expensive. That's why I kind of wanted to get that bike, so I could just bike around. But I couldn't get it. It's very nice indeed. Here's that building I was telling you about. I don't know what it is. Alright, so this says, welcome to the memorial of JK. I do not know who JK is. And on the other side, where I just was, there's another thing. And it's the memorial to the indigenous people. And this looks very nice right now, but I believe it looks even better at night. It's very nice though. Oh nice, you can go inside. Well, maybe. Maybe they charge. They charge uh, 10 reales, which is not that much, five dollars, but it's a very small museum. I don't think it's worth paying to go inside. Guys, this is what I mean by being so modern, it's supposed to be like a very great city, which it is, but look at this, there is no sidewalk here. There's a bus stop over there, there's no sidewalk taking you there. It's kind of like, come on guys, you guys got so many good things going and then you gotta mess it up like this. And it's not just here, it's in a couple of places, a lot of places are like this. So right here is the Cámara Legislativa, Legislativa, I don't know. It's, uh, I believe this is like their lower house of Congress, I believe. Might be wrong. Okay, so this is the Palacio de Just who's Justice, Justicia? I don't know. Uh, it is their Justice Palace. And I believe it's like their Supreme Court. Uh, like the Supreme Court of the nation. Like, like always, very nice architecture. Like I say, all these buildings, this is the DF, the Distrito Federal, which is like the DC, the District of Columbia, where all of the federal buildings are for the whole nation. And what is this? Yeah. Yeah, it's a justice. It's the Supreme Court. I'm pretty sure. Well, actually, I don't even know if they have a Supreme Court, but that's what I think it is. I'm here at the park now. It's a huge park, you guys, but um, there's something I want to show you that just happened. There's this main street right here. Uh, cars go pretty fast here. But everybody stopped for me on this crosswalk, which I know you guys are like, so what? I mean, I've been, in, I've been traveling for a while, nobody stops for you. That was pretty cool, you know, people stopped for me to cross from both sides. Uh, it's a little thanks, guys, like that. 
But uh, this park's like the city park. It's huge. I have to cross the whole thing. It's uh, it's a it's a weekday. Uh, it's Friday though. But there is not that many people here. Maybe after work. I think you you can compare it to like a any central park of a big city. It's very nice. So this is the park. I'm, I think I believe I'm on in the center of it. I have this little lake. It was very uh, quiet. Like I was telling you guys, everything here is very quiet, very peaceful. That's why I thought there was like very few people living in this in this city. And I guess people are working right now. But today is Friday night, so we should be able to see what's up. Yeah, not not many people are around here. Well, I guess there is one. Now, to cross that huge avenue, I have to go through this underpass, which is ghetto as fuck. I mean, this will be totally unacceptable at night. <laughs> it smells like piss everywhere, too. But yeah guys, like this is a very nice city, but there's a few things that is like, come on, there is no overhead bridges, like overpasses. So people are just like crossing the main streets on the top. Because see like that, that lady right there, she just crossed the street like, like she just crossed that highway up there. But the one behind me, you know, that's unsafe. I do not blame her because this place is ghetto. So guys, this right here that you're looking at, this huge like four lane, both way, I don't know, avenue or whatever you want to call it, that's what I just crossed underneath. So it's very unsafe to cross it from the top, but then like it's very unsafe to cross it through the bottom too because that is some really, really ghetto uh, underpasses. There's no lights down there. And right now it's daylight. I will not cross that during the night. And I'm a guy. And it smells really bad in there, it smells like piss. Now I know guys that I, that I am picking a lot on the city. I pointed out like minor defects, but you know, it's supposed to be one of the greatest cities in the world. Uh, it won like a lot of awards. It's a UNESCO heritage site, I think. But uh, I had huge expectations for the city. But it is nice though, like there's so many parks. There's like building, building, park, building, building, park. Uh, the metro is very well laid out. Like I've said, the transportation is really, really good. But yeah, um, very nice city, very planned, but it does have its defects. And it really uh, kind of pisses me off when they plan more for the cars than for the people when most people don't have cars, you know. So if the majority of the people don't have cars, say for example, 80% of the people don't have cars, why is everything planned for cars? You know, how come pedestrians don't have like better access than cars? That's what, that's where I get kind of, I don't know, that's my pet peeve, I guess. Guys, it is Friday night and we came to the mall and I am with Clayton and his friend, which I believe is Sharon. Luana? Yeah. Yes. Oh. Totally different from wrong. Luana? Luana. Luana, okay. And we're gonna come in to see a movie. What movie are we watching? Uh, the movie is your... Uh, Cooper does the Estrellas. So guys, just to give you an example of how expensive Brazil is. This camera right here is the one I'm recording with. And this camera is old. A new one came out already. It's a white one. And the new one is $250. So this old one right here is $1,000. I mean a thousand reales, which is like 500 bucks. So this camera in the US is like $150, and here it's $500, which is more than twice the amount. It's like three times the price. Brazil is expensive. It's really, really expensive. For no reason. So we came to the movies, you guys, and look at this. Even the price of the movies is the same as in the US, 27 reales, which even more is $13. Check it out guys, they have a uh, dental floss, I believe it's dental floss in here, in the public restroom, so you got I really 
pretty sure how I feel about using dental floss like that from the restroom. That's the movie we're watching. I believe it's a chick flick. Look at these guys getting ready. Getting ready for this movie. Oh, sorry. I'll take the stairs. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> sorry. It's a really good movie. Uh, everybody was crying. I didn't cry, but I was almost at the point where I almost cried. It was a really good movie. I do recommend watching. Everybody was crying. People are still crying. Yeah.